The basket is over there. Sorry, Mr. Barrows. It's all right, Glenn. Accidents happen. I presume some of you are actually trying to hit the basket. <laughs> if you guys don't do any better by next Friday, we'll be able to open and close the season the same night. Now, let's go. Almost. Thanks, girls. I'll return the favor. Uh, how about this afternoon? You can drive me home. It'll be a pleasure. boys couldn't drop a peach pit into the Grand Canyon. At least they're trying. We teach our boys at Everett and sportsmanship are the things that count. We'd rather be good losers than bad winners. There's no law against teaching them to be good winners. They're doing their best. For whom? The opposition? Stu, as president of the Chamber of Commerce, I tell you we have to have a winning team to build up the, the town's business, the town's morale. And as trustee of the school board, I'm warning you, if we don't make a good showing against Bradbury, this coaching protege of yours is through. All right, Mr. Barrows. I'll invite Coach over tomorrow to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Well, just don't make it a basket lunch. He'd never be able to find it. <laughs> Sorry to put you on a spot like this, Fred, when you've just taken over as head coach, but... Uh... I understand, Stu. There's no denying it. The team does look terrible. Mainly because they don't have any confidence. It's understandable after two losing seasons in a row. The worst of it is they really could be good if they just begin to believe in themselves. What they need is some kind of inspiration, incentive. And if I know Charlie Burroughs, they'd better find it by next Friday night. Good morning, Fred. You've met my neighbor, Del Johnson, haven't you? Oh, yes, we're old friends. We used to have a lot of fun wrestling together. <laughs> she means Indian hand wrestling. It was part of a calisthenics course I gave last year at the Y. <laughs> but we're going to have to wrestle the morning traffic if we're going shopping. Can we drop you anywhere, Coach? Thanks, my car's outside. Goodbye. Nice meeting you, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Bye. Hey, Mom. The melons in the icebox are spoiled. You want me to throw them out? Yes, dear. I'll get some more downtown. Hey, Willie. Flip your lid. Let her go. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Who threw those melons? Jackie, who else? <laughs> hey, Willie, flip your lid again. <laughs> Doesn't she ever miss? I don't know. I've only been watching her since she was nine. She hasn't missed since then. That's sensational. Too bad she's a girl. Huh? Or is it? Okay, Jackie, flip your lid again. Eight in a row. Nine streets. That's our Jackie. How about one more, Jackie? This time make it something extra special. Okay. Jackie, you're a natural. I haven't seen anything like that in years. Okay, boys, that's all. Coach, our worries are over. I can see the headlines now. Girl sharpshooter leads to Hamilton High to victory over Bradbury. <laughs> are you serious? I was never more serious in my life. Why, they'll come 100 miles to see Jackie in action. Think what that means to the team and the school and the town's business. 
All I can think of is what it could mean to Jackie, even if the conference didn't have rules against such things. Oh, uh, Stu, I, I checked into that this morning. There is no rule that specifically prohibits Jackie from playing. It doesn't matter. As her father, I specifically forbid it. But, Stu, you can't, you won't. I am, and that's final. And I don't want to hear another word about it. But, Stu, why shouldn't Jackie play on the team? Adele, we've been over it a dozen times. I want Jackie to be gentle, feminine, a lady like her mother, not some muscle-bound female commando. Well, I think Jackie should be anything she wants to be, muscle-bound or otherwise. Right, June? Well, I... You see, she agrees. Huh? It's about time you men realize this is the 20th century. Who are you to say Jackie can't play? Did you ask her mother? Did you ask the girls in the student body? No. It just laid down the law like some medieval tyrant. But it's for her own good. Mm -hmm. That's your opinion. After all, boys and girls go to the same school, play in the orchestra together, sit in the same classroom. Of course. The home economics class is crawling with boys, and there are girls all over the carpentry shop. That doesn't prove a thing. It proves, Adele, that women belong in the home, cooking, for instance. Oh, nonsense. Some of the most famous cooks are men, like Oscar of the Waldorf. Sewing, mending. Some of the most famous dressmakers are men, like Don Loper or Christian Dior. Listen, Adele, the women of the world... Will you two calm down? Right now, the only woman we're concerned with is Jackie and her world. Do <laughs> Adele is right. The least we can do is let her make up her own mind. Jackie! Did you call me, Mom? Jackie, have you been eavesdropping again? Well, I couldn't help hearing. You were all talking so loud. <laughs> then there's no need for preliminaries. Jackie, do you or do you not want to be forward with the boys' basketball team? Well, I don't care so much about the rest of the team, but with Marilyn around, I just got to be forward with Glenn. Jackie! I was just kidding, Pop. But Glenn, uh, that is, the team does need me. And if I can help them, maybe Glenn will like me well enough to ask me the junior prom. So you see, Pop, I simply must play. That settles it. The women's vote carries this election three to one. All right, you win. As a minority of one, a mere man who can't cook, mend, or sew, I'm going to let you have your way. Just to prove how wrong you are. Now, we all know Jackie's a natural sharpshooter, and we have five days to integrate her into the team. If it works, we'll have a fighting chance against Bradbury. Jackie, you can start by feeding the team layup shots. I'm with you, Coach. I'm with you, too, Glenn. We're with you, too, Glenn. I'll lay off, fellas. Jackie's a good kid. Yeah. What's that make us when she shows us up? She's not going to show up anyone. OK, Jackie, let me have it. What a beautiful miss. Next, man. Now, wait a minute, Coach. Come on, Glenn, you can do it. Try again. See? what I tell you? That's the old spirit. Come on, Walt. Show him how it's done. Hey! boys are sinking three out of five. A fantastic improvement, Coach. And this is just the beginning. Looks like Jackie is everything you said the team needed. Incentive, inspiration. She'd be more of an inspiration on the sidelines, like that. <laughs> now, don't be prejudiced, Stu. Anyone can see that Jackie's enjoying every minute of it. For her sake, I hope you're right. All right, boys, that's all for today. Hit the showers. Oh, Glenn! Gee, you were great. Well, you weren't so bad yourself. Can I, uh, ride home with you today? Well, I, I guess so, sure. <laughs> Jackie! Uh, I'll wait for you out here, Glenn. the sugar bowl again. The fourth day in a row. But that sounds wonderful. No, it was horrible. I couldn't even order one fattening soda.
got to keep in training. You've got to save that sort of thing for the Bradbury game. And I wouldn't call three sandwiches for lunch keeping in training. Oh, they're not all for me. I figure if I play my cards right, I'll have Glenn eaten right out of my hand. Well, at least out of my lunchbox. I guess things haven't changed so much since I was a girl. Confidentially, that's how I first got your father to notice me. He was wild about my guava jelly sandwiches. What was that, dear? Oh, nothing, darling. You wouldn't... Well, Mom was just telling me how... Jackie, to... sit down and have your breakfast, dear. Well, I get it. Women talk. I'll never understand why you girls get so secretive about something that probably wouldn't interest a man in the first place. I want this foolishness stopped, this minute. Gee, Papa, I was just keeping in practice. Uh, this kitchen's not a gymnasium. What you do on the basketball court is one thing, but in this house, I expect you to act as a lady. Here, Jackie, you'll be late for school. Thanks, Mom. So long, Pop. What's the use? I'm only a man. Nobody listens to me around here anyway. A Dude, that's a clean tablecloth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. June. June, have you re um, Stu, I asked you to be careful. You could at least try. I'm trying. Look, read this. Bloomer Girl joins Hamilton Squad for Bradbury Tilt. <laughs> Charles R. Barrow, school trustee, today revealed a closely guarded secret that Jackie Irwin, the principal's daughter, will play for Hamilton High in its all-important clash with Bradbury tomorrow night. Mr. Barrows foresees a sellout, urges everyone to get their tickets at once. Why, this is wonderful news. Now, will you admit Adele was right? Adele Johnson was never so wrong in her life, with the possible exception of the day she married Harry. You mark my words, June. Nothing good is going to come of this. Guava jelly. June, there's something I've been meaning to speak to you about. I'm sick and tired of guava jelly. What's the word when you're... Oh. oh, now you should be more careful, June. A nice clean tablecloth. Oh. Bloomer girl joins Hamilton squad for Bradbury tilt. I tell you, she'll make us a laughing stock of the whole conference. This morning, three guys came up to me and asked me when I was joining the knitting club. <laughs> the only reason she's on this team is because she's got a crush on you. Now listen, fellas, I... Hi, gang. Gee, I just thought of a real great play during algebra class today. What's the matter with that? Hey, Glenn! Okay, fellas. Defensive tactics today. Glenn, you take Jackie over there and give us some pointers on guarding. Come on, boys, we'll try some layups. Glenn, what's wrong? You heard the coach. Try and get past me. Who wants to get past you? Now try. You're so big and strong. Maybe you better try guarding me. Oh, I'd love to. Don't hold me, Jackie. Just guard me. Well, if you let me hold you, I'll let you hold me. Man, that's enough. You can take the afternoon off, Annie Oakley. Just turn in early. I got you, Coach. Oh, Glenn, hold it just a second. What's on your mind, Coach? Well, I've been thinking. Since Jackie's been working out so well, I'm going to start her at left forward tomorrow night. Left forward? My position? Oh, don't worry. You'll still see plenty of action. We'll have to give Jackie a breathing spell every quarter. No, Coach, you can't do that to Glenn. Now, Jackie, this is no time for personal pride. You're the best shot. We'll need every bit of offensive strength we can get. The main thing now is the team. You understand that, don't you, Glenn? Yeah, I suppose so. Sure. Oh, Willie. Glenn. Glenn, it wasn't my fault. Why, of course it wasn't, Jackie. After all, you can't help it if you shine when it comes to being offensive. <laughs> Glenn, I gotta talk to you. Alone. Maybe we can have lunch. Sorry, Bloomer girl. I've got a date. Come on, Marilyn.
Jackie, you missed that time. Yeah, I sure did. Just when things were going so well. Glenn was hinting he might even take me to the prom. Oh, Willie. Jackie, it's time someone explaining things to you. Explain things? Exactly. Let's put it this way. When you're real young, you're only one kind of people. That's children. But when you grow up, there's two kind of people. There's men people, there's women people. Now, you take Melvin. She's all woman. And Glenn, he's all man. Exactly. Now, men people like men people in one way. But men people like women people in a different way. You said it. Now, you got to decide which people you are. Well, I'm a woman people. No, not on a man's team you ain't. You can't go around beating a man at his own game and expect for him to drive you home. But this is for the school, for the team. Well, Jack, it's like I said. You got to make up your mind which game you want to play. Basketball or what? In two words, role match. <laughs> Jackie, you'll have to drive faster. I'm way ahead of you. Jackie! What's the matter, dear? Nothing, Mom. I just hate women, that's all. When you do something better than they can, they all get jealous. You're not making any sense, and I know why. It's that big game tomorrow. You better turn in right away. I'll finish the dishes. All right, Mom. Thanks. Jackie, something bothering you? I just hate men, that's all. You try to help them and do everything you can for them, and then when it's all over, they walk out with another woman. Jill, I want to talk to you. about Jackie. Yes. At first, I thought she was jumpy because of the game tomorrow. But on second thought, all the symptoms point to love again. Theta Barrett? Uh, hold it. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Great big man. That's a foul. That was holding. I get two free shots. Two shots. Yeah. Would you mind fixing it for me?
you men are brutal. Jackie, are you all right? I'm afraid I twisted my ankle. You'll have to take my place, Glenn. Gee, fellas, I'm awful sorry I let you down, but with Glenn in there, you'll take him. Now, you heard what she said, gang. Go ahead and take him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. How's your ankle? Great. I know, all of a sudden they just caught fire. Jackie's accident seems to have inspired them. Yeah, and I only twisted my ankle. Imagine what would have happened if I'd broken my leg. Jackie! We get two throws. All Glenn has to do is think one of them, and we win. I bet he loved it. One shot, ball we play. Hey, Glenn, flip your lid. Here she comes. Keep your fingers crossed. Glenn, what are you doing here? Where's Marilyn? I, uh, I told Walt to take her home. Jackie, uh, I, uh, well, the, the team sort of thought you might feel bad about... Golly, Jackie, anyone can have an off night. You'll do better next time. No, Glenn, there isn't gonna be any next time. What happened tonight convinced me that you men have it all over us women, in things like basketball. Gee, do you, do you think that leg's gonna be all right? I don't know. That was a pretty rough game. That's awful. I was sort of hoping you'd be in shape by Saturday night so I could take you to the prom. Oh, I'm sure it will. It's feeling better already. Wait, don't move. Stay right here. Uh, I'll get the jalopy. And, and, and stand on the other foot. <laughs> Well, everything turned out all right after all, didn't it? It sure did. And you were right, Pop. A woman's place is on the sidelines, inspiring her man to succeed. But it took Mom to show me how. <laughs> From now on, I'm strictly the helpless type. The helpless type. That ought to teach us to Urban that even when a woman loses, she wins. Yeah. 